Oh, mother, oh, mother, pray what shall I do? Come advise your own dear son. Must I marry fair Eleanor say? Or bring the brown girl home? When she rose up, she pondered it well. This counsel she gave her son. Says my advice to you, Lord Thomas, my son, is fetch the brown girl home. The brown girl, she has house and land. Fair Eleanor, she has none. Invite Fair Eleanor to your wedding, but fetch the brown girl home. He rode till he came to Fair Eleanor's gate. He tangled the ball with his cane. No one was so ready as Fair Eleanor to rise and bid him in. What news, what news, Lord Thomas, she cried. What news have you brought to me? I've come to ask thee to my wedding, the brown girl, the bride to be. Oh, mother, oh, mother, pray, what shall I do? Can't you see I'm all undone? Shall I go to Lord Thomas's wedding or stay at home and mourn? Dear daughter, dear daughter, you have no business there. And the brown girl, she has some. My advice to you, my daughter dear, is stay at home and mourn. She dressed herself in a lily white robe. Her head she dressed in green. And every town that she rode through, they took her for a queen. She rode till she came to Lord Thomas's gate. She pulled it all up her rein. No one was so ready as Lord Thomas himself to rise and bid her come in. He took her by the lily white hand. He led her through the hall. He seated her down at the table's head amongst the nobles all. The brown girl drew a knife from her belt. The blade was keen and sharp. And between the long ribs and the short, she stabbed Fair Eleanor's heart. Lord Thomas, he drew his sword from his side as he came in from the hall. He cut off the head of the willful bride and kicked it against the wall. Then placing the handle against the wall, and the blade against his heart. Did ever you see three lovers meet that had so soon to part?